So great, you've signed up for the Shape Up Montana and you're wondering how to record your hours and get credit for all the activities you've been doing. So the first thing you want to do is go to shapeupmontana.org and go ahead and click on sign in and sign in with your username and password. Of course, if you're not sure what that is, click on forget password and use the same email that you used to sign up. Once you get logged in, you're going to see that you have a lot of things across the top here. Your dashboard, your log activity, your log weight, and any articles that have been submitted. Some helpful, fun things and recipes and whatnot. But I'm going to go ahead and click on dashboard so I can start here. You're going to see if you're a member of any group and any miles you've already logged. You'll see the log activity. That's where most of your activity will be logged. And you can backlog too. So let's maybe say that you were on a long hike and you didn't have chance to log those miles today. No worries. You can do that tomorrow, the next day, or you could log your whole week at once at the end of the week. So let's go ahead and click on log activity and see the different things that you can do. And this is going to work on a phone as well. Um, I don't think the app is working, but you can go to shape up montana.org on Safari or Chrome or whatever your browser is and it's going to be fairly similar. Again click on dashboard. So um, now you're going to put the date in of this activity. You will um, say whether you want to record your steps or your hours. So if I picked walking I would put in my hours. You'll notice if I'm cycling I won't get the same credit as I do for walking because cycling a mile is not the same as walking or running a mile. So again if I click steps then I'm going to type my steps in here and it will be converted to miles. If I want to um, record walking I would do this and then I'm going to record my miles that I walked which was a half mile so 0.5 for me and then I click log activity. And I might need an activity calculator. So I could click on the activity calculator and let's just say that I was doing some home maintenance. And in this case, it was light home maintenance. I was just doing some dusting. Maybe it was vacuuming and it was moderate. So I can put these things in here. I can put my body weight and duration and it will tell me my miles conversion. And then I can go in and pick either walk or run and put in the miles equivalency um, for what I've been doing. So again this calculator will help you pick other different things that you're doing. There's recreational activity. Was it light or moderate? Put in what your body weight is. How long did you do this? How many minutes? and that's the equivalent of 0.43 miles. Then I would go into enter miles. I would log my activity and I could select walking and put in 0.43. All right, um, if any of these I accidentally logged in correctly, maybe I had the wrong date or something, I can always click the delete here and then go back to log activity and add another one. If I want to see more per page, I could put in 50 per page or 100. So I could log multiple on one day or I could wait till the end of the day to log all my activity. You'll notice that there's also this fun virtual photo booth. Be sure if you don't want to be featured in Facebook and other social media that you send an email and request to not be featured there and then you'll just get your photo. You might be fun to get your team together and take a group photo or something like that. Um, again, here's um, some articles. This is our week one article here and we can view that post. And we'll have all kinds of exercise for the week and there's a push challenge this week. So you can claim up to 10 miles for doing the goal this week. So go ahead and accept the challenge. You do have to accept the challenge and then cl click on complete the challenge and it will add miles onto your total. Be sure that you're honest and have done all these different things and here's the recipe for the week. Yummy beets. 
and then some other articles. So again, you can click on the articles and anytime you want to get back to your home screen, just click on the Shape Up Montana logo. Takes you back to um, the home screen. Here's my dashboard and then I can get to all these things across the top. Well, I hope that helped you get started with the Shape Up Montana recording your uh, miles or steps if you prefer to do that and you'll see now here's my miles my team has 7.2 and none of us have lost any weight on day one so have fun with shape up montana and good luck everyone